Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my review on Time Stranger Kyoko. This is a three volume series put out by Viz. Uh, it's by Arena Tanimura. I know that she has a lot of other series published in English that are longer and much more popular. I had never heard of Time Stranger Kyoko and I've never read anything else by Arena Tanimura, but I know that she has a lot of series out in English. Um, this, I got these volumes for free from a friend. This is complete in three volumes and it is a fantasy shoujo which is not my favorite. I love shoujo but I like more like high school or uh, like slice of life sort of situation rather than fantasy stuff. So it's not really my cup of tea to begin with. So take this kind of review with a grain of salt. That being said, I didn't hate it. It just wasn't long enough for this story. Basically, we follow Kyoko, who can travel through time. She's about 16, I think, and she is the princess of Earth Nation, I think is what they call it. I can't remember. Um, and she doesn't want to be the princess. She just wants to be a normal girl. And she has this twin sister that's asleep and has been asleep her whole life. And so I guess her dad, the king, tells her, you know, if you can assemble the other 11 or 12 people to awaken your sister, she can be the princess and take over the throne and you won't have to. And then you can just do whatever you want. And so she's like, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's, let's wake up my sister and give her the responsibility because I don't want to deal with it. And so she has these two bodyguards who are these beautiful guys that are around her age. And of course there's a love interest there and she's kind of, what I liked about this was that Kyoko is interesting. She's not whiny. She's not weak. She is surely lazy. Um, it's very funny because she's like, yes, I want to wake up my sisters so that I don't have to do any work, but it's so much work to wake her up. I got to find these people and like, I just don't have the energy or the, the care to do so. And then as soon as her father's like, well, then, um, can you do this princess duty? And she's like, nah, I really don't want to do that. I'm going to go wake up my sister. Um, it's quite funny. I think the problem with this is that like these first couple volumes, um, it are, you're like, okay, here's the problem. She's got to find these 11 or 12 other people and get them to join her and help her wake up her sister. So they go and find a couple of these people and they get them to join them. And then by the third volume, it's like, and then we found the other eight people we needed and they agreed to join us and it was great. And you're like, okay, so all right. But then another problem is introduced randomly and you're and it's so out of left field and you're like wait what why is this the problem um and it was just bizarre because it's like it introduced this story here and then went okay we've resolved that here's the actual problem for some reason and then we're going to resolve that and it's going to be fine just three volumes is not enough for this because you didn't get, look at how many people are on this cover. You don't get fleshed out characters um, or backstories or anything for really any of these people, uh, unfortunately. So it just kind of throws a bunch of people in the mix, tells you there's a problem, fixes it, and then goes, well, it's over. And, and you're kind of left there thinking, okay, um, what was the point of this? But I will say she's a funny, interesting protagonist. The, the bodyguard boys are interesting and fun. Um, there's a, another guy who is ridiculous, uh, who's interested in her, that I think is funny. And yeah, I mean, it's cute. I'm sure that this is not a good representation of Arena Tanimura's works. Um, oh, there he is this guy. But yeah, the art is fun and cute. It was quick. I read it in one sitting. Uh, 
if you've read anything else by Irina Tanimura, let me know if there's something you recommend. Like I mentioned, I don't like fantasy shoujo, so this really wouldn't have been my cup of tea regardless, but I think that this is not something I would recommend to people. I feel like if you're interested in getting into Arena Tanemura, you probably should check out some of her other series that are much more well-known and, um, you know, probably better. I haven't read them, so I can't say that for sure, but I feel like this just felt rushed because the story was too grand for three volumes. You really couldn't have accomplished what she kind of set out to do in just these three volumes. And this second volume is really thin as well. Um, but that being said, it was cute and kind of funny. And it's got this really cute little pastel spine color situation that I enjoy. Looks nice on my shelf. And I did get them for free. So I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining that I wasted all this money on this thing because I didn't waste, I didn't spend any money on it. Um, but yeah, if you've read Time Stranger Kyoko, I, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and if you've read, like I mentioned, anything else by Irina Tanimura that you recommend I check out or keep an eye out for, uh, let me know because I'd be interested to see what else she has to offer. Anyway, thank you for watching. See ya.